I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is kitchen math and we are going to focus on measuring utensils because in order to make something to eat, to bake, we're going to be using different measuring utensils. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a dot and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up, back, connect, straight line down on the left, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. Right up here at the left I'm just going to put a little curved line, connect, little curved line inside. This is a cup, but I also am going to do this. Put a dot, slightly curved line up, over, connect, straight line down, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect. Put a little curved line and a little curved line inside. This is one half of a cup. Now I come over here, put another dot, slightly curved line up, over, connect, straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. On the left hand side, little curve line, little curve line inside. This is one third of a cup. And finally I put a dot and I draw a slightly curved line over, up, connect, straight line down on the left, slightly curved line over, straight line up, connect, and I put a little curved line and a little curved line. This is one-fourth. One-fourth of what? One-fourth of a cup. There are four one-fourths in a cup. This is one-third of a cup. There are three one-thirds in a cup, and this is a half a cup or two of these measurements to fit into one cup. Got to know how to do that. What do all of these cups measure? Usually they measure large amounts, large amounts of dry ingredients. What does that mean? It means that when you are measuring out flour or sugar, you would use these kitchen utensils, measuring utensils, to do that. All right, second row, put a dot. We're going to draw an oval. Come right in here, put a dot. A little bit smaller oval here, put a dot. A little bit smaller oval, here put a dot, smaller oval. Now these are going to be measuring spoons. So what's interesting about them is that straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal up. Straight diagonal down, straight line, straight diagonal up. Straight diagonal down, straight line, straight diagonal up straight diagonal down, straight line, straight diagonal up. These are really important. The big guy is a tablespoon. And I'll tell you a story in a minute. Next one over is a teaspoon. Next one over is one-fourth. Next one over is one-eighth. These are small amounts used, small amounts used with salt, 
spices baking powder. Small amounts, dry amount, baking powder. And sometimes people get tablespoon and teaspoon mixed up. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now come down here, put a dot. Now we're going to draw a curve line down, up, over, connect. On this end we draw a curve line down, slightly curve line over, straight line up, connect. And we're going to draw a big curve line, connect, big curve line, connect inside. And right here, these are the measurement lines we would use because this is a liquid measuring cup. So this would be for measuring out oil, measuring cup. This would be measuring out water, milk, anything that's liquid. These are all important if we want to do a recipe. That will be kitchen math lesson number two or three. All right, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, these are super easy because you don't want to color anything over your mounts. So this is just a wavy line with brown. Wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. My measuring spoons, I'm doing orange, and that's because that's what color mine are. These are all orange. And then, because I want to make sure I remember that this is a liquid measuring cup, I'm going to take my blue and draw a wavy, wavy line. That's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my measuring utensils all colored in, ready for us to do more kitchen math. Okay, bye-bye.